I'm falling asleep and the phone, I just heard, feel what up on my forehead. The phone, what up on my forehead <laughs> because I'm falling asleep watching. The Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Chrissy's Point of View. I am Chrissy and today we are going to discuss breaking the habits, breaking bad habits, right? That form your life, that doesn't push you in the right direction, that doesn't push you in the direction of positivity, that doesn't push you in the direction of living life longer. And I'm sure that we will all love to live longer. We will all love to live a stress-free life, but it's all up to us. It's all up to us. If it is we put things in place that we don't have to live a stressful life, a life that all is um, you're in a mood and you can't function properly when something happens, that kind of thing, right? We all want to change that. Am I right? So, break this habit number one. You know how we as a person, as in I'm saying we, we as a person love to sleep with our phones next to us. We love to sleep with our phones like you fall asleep with the phone <laughs> right this happened to me plenty times right you fall asleep watching the phone that is bad right for your eyes you fall asleep and you're looking up at the phone like this that is horrible for your eyes that damages your eyes now i'm not a optometrist i can't tell you what it does exactly but it damages your eyes you know how many times i am falling asleep and the phone I just feel what up on my forehead. The phone what up on my forehead. <laughs> because I fall asleep watching the Instagram or some kind of nonsense. I fall asleep. I can't even self say what I fall asleep watching. But I know when it is I fall asleep, a lot of times my subconscious mind absorbs this thing. And I end up dreaming nonsense. Right? That is how I used to be right watching this thing watching whatever news feed on facebook and so forth until i fall asleep and i used to be doing this thing over and over don't matter how much time the phone fall along in my face it's like i ain't learning my lesson right anybody can identify with me right anybody can identify the phone falling down directly in your face now, this is bad for your eyesight, people, and it's also bad for your mind, right? Because you want, you want to have a peaceful sleep. You want to have a, a nice night. Your subconscious mind picking up every single thing that it is you watch, regardless if it is you consciously picking it up or not, right? Another thing I'll tie in, as in when it is you're going to sleep, is the TV people. You know, you have some people need background noise to sleep. Yes, people need background noise to sleep. People need the light, the extra light. Get a night light if it is in need of extra light. You know that we actually supposed to sleep in pitch dark. We supposed to sleep in pitch dark. It is somehow psychologically good for our health. We get better night sleep sleeping in pitch dark. And some people somehow cannot sleep in pitch dark. Do you know princes from around the world, like princes in like Arabian princes and stuff, right? I was watching a documentary. They sleep in pitch dark because research has shown that sleeping in pitch dark improves the melatonin tonin production, reduces insomnia, and somehow improves mental production so you think better and you you function better when it is your sleeping pitch dark imagine that right now i am not talking people who cannot sleep in pitch dark but i am trying my best to see if it is i can do that right and i think it will really and like I I heard also it it helps the aging. What do you all think? 
Ever to sleep in pitch dark helps you age slower, like fine wine. Wouldn't you want to try that? I think so. I think so. Right? So, moving along, I understand if you cannot sleep in pitch dark, but sleeping with the television on and having these things sub subconsciously be transmitted to your mind, right, is not good. So that is our next number two habit that it is you need to break that habit of sleeping with the television or sleeping with the radio on, right, because it's not good for you. Okay, so and, and then going to sleep, right? None of us are sure when it is our last day and it is. So I think you should now implement a good habit of thanking God for the new day, thanking God for protection, thank you God that your muscles are working how it's supposed to work, thanking God that your feet working how they're supposed to work, that you have feet, that it's not sick, right? And ask God for that He protect you during the night, because asking God to protect you, you commit yourself to God, and you, I think, is a good habit to implement. Because at the end of the day, you never really know what could happen during the night. You cannot forecast what could happen during the night, and I think that is a good habit to implement. It's just my point of view. Yes, people, so waking up, <laughs> waking up, let's talk about waking up now. How many of you, when it is your wake up, first thing you check is your phone. You check to see who messaged you. You check to see if that chick you try to get through with answer you back from the night before. Yeah, yeah. Our ladies, we ladies, we check to see if the guy answer, we answer first. If it is the answer us from the night before, if it is the send you a good morning, babes, or good morning, darling, that kind of thing. At the end of the day, you never really know what kind of message you're going to get when it is it's the first thing you pick up your phone. Technology is slowly taking over everything, taking over our mind, right? My advice is. Don't let it take over you. Do not let technology control your life. At the end of the day, God is the man and he's the boss. He's the one controlling. You don't think that you should be thanking God for waking up first. Thanking God that you're too high open. Thank you God that you're still in the land of the living. And tell me if I'm making sense. That's the first thing. Gratitude is a must. You must thank God. You must thank God for waking you up. The phone then not wake you. Let's say your alarm. Let's say the alarm. You touch your phone to take off the alarm from your phone, right? You don't need to check your messages. Just press snooze or press off, right? But no, we have to check to see if Jim or, or Henry or or Nicole or somebody message us but at the end of the day you know when your alarm go off regardless if it is you're in a deep sleep or not if God don't give you the ability to hear that alarm because when you're sleeping you're in a deep sleeper you're in a deep deep sleep you're in your unconscious if it is God don't give us the ability to hear that alarm you know you're not hearing nothing right you're not waking up right how many times in you, your house or something happened in your neighborhood and you realize, hey, I didn't hear a thing. You talk, you hear your neighbors talking about what had happened and you didn't hear a thing. You know why? Because God kept you in perfect peace, right? For you not to hear nothing. Think about it. Give me a like, people. Give me a like if I'm talking the truth. Give me, a, give me a comment if it is I'm talking the truth. Is God give you the power to get up? So, here's this, right? This is the habit you need to break. Stop rushing to go and see the news. Stop rushing to put on the radio. Stop rushing to put on the TV. Because, let's be for real. 
Bad news could change our whole mindset of how the day should go. You should set up your day for greatness. Set up your day for wow, like today was the best day I ever had. Today was the perfect day. Oh my gosh. Set up your day like that for you to have a good day. And this is exactly how you set up your day. You say how it is you want your day to go. I am going to go there, I'm going to go there, I'm going to get this done. As Larry be for real. Next thing you know, you check your phone. And when you check your phone now, a bad news. This person passed away. You get depressed. Oh, you hear this person get shot. Oh, this person got in a car accident. And you, you just getting this mood and this mood have you heavy and your heart heavy and i i i am telling you people certain news does make you go in a certain kind of mood what it is you're not supposed to be going into right because there's nothing you could have done to help the situation but we tend to we are only human beings and we tend to feel what other humans are feeling right like if somebody died in a car accident if somebody died in childbirth that i understand all of this right my thing is it doesn't need to be the first thing you hear in the morning it does not need to be the first thing you, you put all your attention to because when we wake up in the morning we still in like a kind of alpha state our brains in an alpha state so we absorbing all of this our subconscious mind absorbing it and taking it in right and it could either take in stuff for the good or it could take in stuff for the bad i think i have spoken about this before how easy yes subconscious mind is to sway from left to right if it is you don't have it under control if it is you don't control what it is you feed in your mind listen to that particular vlog what are you feeding your mind but i just want you to be able to live a less stressful life a more victorious life a happy life right won't you want to live that type of life? Don't you want to experience a happy and less stressful life? Set up your day for greatness, right? Set up your day for blessings. Set up your day for prosperity. Set up your day for being in a good mood that nothing cannot hold you back. Nothing can have you sway you or how you feeling down. I remember when it was this thing had happened with um this whole George Floyd story had happened how everybody was like in a mood like a mood and stuff and I I mean at the end of the day I am not being insensitive when it is I say this yes the whole world was in the whole world supporting and stuff it was good to see everybody come together but that wasn't my main fun focus at all that wasn't my main focus at all you know some people first thing they wake up in the morning they check to see how many people died today in this particular country for covid what going on they used to check what going on with the george floyd situation they want to know who protesting which con which city protesting and stuff and because of that i found myself like if it is i was going towards because people kept sending me stuff you know how much people i had to block <laughs> right i had to block and delete and so forth because i don't i really really did not want that to be absorbed in my my subconscious mind understand this the sub so people i just want you to take my advice today that these are the habits that you need to break going to sleep where it is you're more vulnerable where what your brain absorb and turn it into something positive right turn it into something that will make you happier make you more exuberant when it is you go and sleep you smile when you go and sleep you know at the end of the day don't go to sleep 
vex at his spouse or whatever don't go to sleep like that that is a bad way to go to sleep and be positive don't wake up angry don't um don't feed your mind with these kind of things before it is a go and sleep and when it is a wake up right i hope that i have given you value today i hope that you have pressed that subscribe button by now i hope that you leave comments because i do check all your comments right right and i have left a little gift for you at the bottom please click the link below people click that link below i am so happy that you stayed to the end i decided to give you a gift look at that so click that link below and see you next time on chrissy's point of view